So I have a friend who is moving from Lightwave over to Blender and he has a few general questions. So let me quickly show you what Knife Project does. Alright guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. Now this is going to be a pretty quick tutorial to be honest. And it's actually very similar to Lightwave's solid drill tool. So for example, I want to use the bat sign to stencil out the cube. And it's pretty easy. All you need to do is select the cube, go into edit mode, and then the next thing to do is press control on the object that you want to stencil. So in our case, it's the bat sign. And as you can see here, it actually gets outlined in an orange. Now in order to use the knife project tool, you're always better being straight on in an axis. So for example, the X axis, or maybe you're at the top, it'll be on the Z. So if you do it in the viewport, it kind of skews the cup. Then all we need to do here is, is go to mesh and then go to knife project. And what this will quickly do is it'll stencil out the topology. Now, if you enable cut through down the bottom left hand side here, it'll actually cut right through the topology. If you take this off, let's quickly go straight back onto the Z, it'll only cut on one side of the topology, like so. So what I'm going to do here is, I'm just going to quickly hide the bat side and we can quickly extrude this, like so. And that's pretty much the knife project tool. It's actually incredibly powerful, especially if you want to conform to topology or you want to create a shape that can be quite complex. So knife project, I highly recommend using it. Now, sometimes it can be a little bit finicky and it can sometimes error out. So just to give you an example here, let's quickly go back into object mode and I'll add in something like a cylinder. Now let's quickly rotate this 90 degrees. Like so. And what I can do here is, I can select the cube, I can go back into edit mode, and then I can press control, and then I'll go straight onto this view, and I'll go to mesh, and I'll go to knife project. And you'll notice that it actually errors out. No other selected objects have wire or boundary edges, use of projection. Now there is several reasons why this actually fails, but we can actually work around this. So let's go back into the object, let's select this object, let's go into edit mode. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete these faces and I'm going to delete this face and let's try it again. So let's go back into object mode, let's select the cube, back into edit mode. You're actually better using the outline on to select, but hey, say LRV. I'll hit control, I'll go back onto the view and let's try it again. Let's go to mesh and let's go to knife project. And that's pretty much one of the kind of reasons why it would fail is because there's topology wrapping around it and it can't work out. So if we check this out. You can see here, we'll quickly hide the cylinder, and we now have a cylinder cut out. And that is Knife Project, and that's one of the use cases why it might fail. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter, buy Haggis Tools. Anyway, you know what to do.